What's going on guys, King Trash here back with another video on the channel and today I went back to my roots, back to my favorite thing. Welcome to another episode of King Unfiltered. If you have not been to an episode of King Unfiltered, I apologize in advance. You will probably hear curse words and stuff you don't want to hear about, but you know what? Sorry. <laughs> All right, let me take down what we got today. We went to my favorite store, Wawa. You can already see that I got that same mac and cheese. I forgot what the hell is on this mac and cheese, um, but it's lit and... Um, I think it's like pulled pork, but like they didn't pull this off a damn thing. And I know that. But uh, the last time I got it, it was actually kind of fire. But of course, we got the goat purple bag of the sweet chili grills. But I actually added a different bag because all they had was a small joint today. This is also one of the goats. If you've never had this, you've been doing. Um, this is the Fritos, the Twist. This is the Honey Barbecue. These are fire. If you never had these, just go get a damn bag. Seriously. All right, let's see what else we got today. Hmm. If you're new to the channel. This is a must. This is the Wawa corn chowder. I've been bitching and moaning about this for about a week now uh, to all of my friends. I'm not joking. Um, I, I really love this corn chowder. And I got two sandwiches. I don't know what the hell. Wait. Listen, I'm going to knock shit over. I'm going to drop stuff. This is just what's going to happen because this is that kind of night for me. Wait, what is this? Um. Oh, okay. We have, like, it says it on there. But I got two sandwiches, so that's dope. I got a shorty. And then a big dog. I don't know what the hell I got on the shorty though, because it doesn't say. And like Wawa, they, they deliver their um, orders in hieroglyphics. I'm not joking, like I have no idea. Like watch, I'm gonna read the Wawa order off for you. Is that it? Oh, I got jam in here, because that's my fat ass. I get these on biscuits and then I have jam later. So don't count the, the grape jam. Um, oh no, I do, okay. All right, this is what this says. Okay, can y'all read this? Can y'all read this? Ooh, hold on. I just, my, my, my ring light fell out. Actually, the light is going to be terrifying. This, it says, if you can pause it and go back, it says, toast other shorty roll, honey hot top, provolone cheese, cheese rebottom, put on chicken strip, hinge hot peppers. This is the second time with this hinge shit. Like, what do they mean? What does that mean? Uh, craft a quick sheet hoagie paper. All right, that's what's on the sandwich. And this one right here, um, again, you can pause it because it's hella long. Um, it says toasted pepperoni pizza classic roll. I'm with you. Red, uh, it says pepper relish R top. They like, is this is like paint by numbers for subs. That's why their subs be so fire. Pepperoni 15 on the, y'all put the number of pepperoni. That's why Wawa's goaded, bro. They, they tell you 15 pepperonis. I think that's what it says. Um, roasted veggies, two scoops, hinge. There's there's a thing with this hinge. There's a thing. I don't know what it means. Somebody's going to tell me because y'all like to fucking correct me whenever I say dumb shit. Uh, provolone cheese, cheese, three on the bottom, extra cheese on the bottom, toast A2, tomato sauce hinge, hot peppers hinge, close the roll. I finally figured this shit out. Craft quick sheet hokey paper. This is like paint by numbers of fucking subs. That's why their subs are so fire. Wow. I never knew that. This is like, honestly, I'm not even trying to be funny. They like actually tell you, it says close the roll. Like the hinge has got to be a, a section of the sub. Can you do me a favor? I know because there's going to be one of y'all. I, I mean this respectfully. Stop fucking correcting me. I get it. First of all, I film 90% of the shit I film at like two or three in the morning. I'm tired as hell. That means I'm gonna say dumb shit, and some shit might not be fucking accurate. That's what happens, bro. Like, I don't Google shit before I say shit, and sometimes there's always that one person. Like, they're like, oh, well, uh, the hinge actually means, I don't give a shit. I don't, I'm not even saying that to be rude. Like, I mean, look, y'all, people are fucking, I'm not gonna say, I, I've never once said that I'm fucking correct all the time, never. Cause I'm not, I be wrong all the time. I never, at least I be in a site like in the right ballpark with the shit I say, you know what I'm saying? All right, but let's get this shit on the road. You know what I'm saying? All right, I mean that respectfully. Cause sometimes y'all be saying stuff and y'all be like, mm, and I'm like, shut up, bitch. <laughs> respectfully corn chowder bro. I've been waiting for this shit for like a week, bro. I'm finna get this shit this weekend again. Anybody has something to do with the fact that I'm turned up on a Tuesday? Yes, I am. 
y'all wanted this shit anyway, so I'm here. Mmm! Peach. Mm, okay. Where am I going? All right, let's open this one up. This is the, um, the, the, uh, the hot pepper hinge. Whatever the fuck that means. All right. Mm. I don't know what I got. I just be, I be clicking stuff, bro. Why did, yeah, it's the hinge. All right. Uh, what the fuck is this? Is that fucking zucchini? What the fuck did I order? There's roasted veggies on here because I'll be trying to be healthy. That's definitely zucchini too in it. I don't really like zucchini. That's definitely zucchini. Fuck, bah. I'm gonna take that shit off. I don't like zucchini, bro. Zucchini's ass. Like y'all like zucchini? That's like summer squash and zucchini and all kinds of other whack shit. But I was trying to be healthy with like just roasted veggies and shit, but I can't fuck with zucchini. Zucchini is like so fucking corny. Zucchini is the zucchini is the corniest fucking vegetable. In the history of vegetables. I don't care what anybody says. Zucchini is whack. Me, people are like, oh, yeah, yeah, yeah. And listen, hey. <laughs> I mean this respectfully because I'm finna bite a zucchini because I didn't get them all out. If you eat zoodles, you know what fucking zoodles are? Zoodles, zoodles are zucchini noodles that people eat because they say it tastes like pasta. Shut the fuck up. No, it doesn't. No, it does If you want to tell me you're doing it for like whack health reasons or something, like I feel you because I be I added vegetables to this. This is a a pepperoni and provolone, uh, hot pepperoni. I don't know what the fuck it is. You, I read it. I definitely just made a zucchini too. Dog, zucchini is so whack. You know what's the worst stuff though? Respectfully, okay. Mm. But the rest of it makes up for it because zucchini sucks. But I'm still finna eat it. Um, you ever had them people around you that eat like nasty ass food and they like act like it's good, but they know it's not good? That's zoodles. Somebody said, "Oh yeah, yesterday I had uh, zoodles with with fucking meat sauce," and I'm like. Why? I don't know. Just corn chowder me, bro. I know y'all got a friend like that. Be like, there's certain things, because I eat fat free cheese. You, I'm not even here to judge you. And I have love for everybody. But like, how you eat doesn't mean you're like a, like a dummy. I just know you're capping. Don't sit here and tell me that vegan cheese tastes like cheese, because it doesn't, okay? And I eat fat-free cheese. Fat-free cheese does not taste like cheese, and I eat it. But you'll never hear me say, mm. you hear me say that? Come on. Bro, that's why Wawa subs are so, I can't even open this shit, my hands are so You'll never hear me say that fat-free cheese is good. Clear as not. Does it taste like cheese? Hell no, it doesn't taste like cheese. Does it kind of taste like cheese? Yes, kind of. Hold on, just excuse me for a hot minute. Don't sit here and tell me that like vegan cheese tastes like cheese. Or like vegan hot dogs taste like hot dogs. No, they don't. No, they don't. Or else they would be a hot dog. Okay? No. No. Now, I can understand you eating zoodles because you're like, well, it's not as good as zucchini noodle. It's not gonna be as good as a regular noodle, but I'm eating it because it's less calories. And I can tolerate it. Yes! I just fucking zucchini in here, bro. Get this shit out of here. They, all it said was roasted veggies, and there's like some roasted garlic and onions in here that's fire. But I can't do that zucchini shit. But I always had it one person. My sister used to do that shit. My sister, when, I, like, when she was in college, I hope she don't watch this shit. I don't give a fuck. If you're watching, hey, like, you know my homie. Uh, when she went, when I was, uh, she's four years older than me, right? So when she was a freshman in college, I was like a sophomore in high school and so on. 
So, by the time I was a senior in high school, that's when I like, thought I was cool and shit. I really wasn't, but like, I was corny, but like I thought I was. Um, she was like, you know, senior in college, living that life. And she got really like healthy. Like she started eating all like healthy shit. Um, and then she would come home, fucking squash. Um, she would come home and be eating like, like fucking quinoa. And it was like, like couscous. And I'm not saying quinoa and couscous aren't good, but like, there's certain stuff you gotta put in it to make it dope. It's like rice, like plain white rice alone by itself. Nah, but like you put white rice with the, mm, yeah. So, she used to be doing that. Or she would get like ice cream, and she would put it in like a in thing that was like a shot glass. It was like hella small. And she'd be like, oh, that's all I need. <laughs> like, shut the fuck up. No, it's not. Stop. You ever see somebody do that? She just put it like in the little, no cap. Oh, check this. I bought, I bought this for me. Wingstop Ranch, bro. <laughs> hey, if you know, you know. So, we. She would be like a little thimble of like, you know, can Rocky Road ice cream. And she'd be like, she'd be like, and be like, oh, that's all I need. I'm like, don't nobody need that. Stop lying, bro. Like, just tell me that you're trying to be like conscious of this. That's like, like, nobody gets a thing of Oreos, and they're like, yo, I just want, like, two Oreos. A serving of Oreos is two Oreos. Yes, that's true. Nobody wants two fucking Oreos. Like, that's like, like, you know, like a potato chip. Like, me being like, oh, I, I buy a bag of chips, and I'm like, oh, Doritos. Mm -hmm, mm -hmm. Well, that's all I need. Fuck out of here. That's like, 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 beyond cap. Just be honest. Like, yo, I want this whole bag, but I'm not finna eat it because it's not good for me. Then you give the bag to me, and there's no argument. Mm. Alright, I got this last time. I want to bite this real quick. Hold on. Mm. Clean that up. It was like pulled pork mac and cheese. Now, that's not pulled pork. That's not. Nah. But, yeah, I got this last time, bro. Y'all sleep on Wawa. But this mac and cheese shits on like every mac and cheese, like KFC's mac and cheese, uh, Chick-fil-A's mac and cheese, shits on it. Shit did on them. Check it, look at this. Y'all finna tell me to just, I had it last time, I didn't expect it, but I bit it, right? Look at that, it's creamy, right? Check it. Shits on it. They have real cheese on here, and when you put it in the microwave, it melts, and you can like stir it up. Look at this, bro, like, no matter. This is light years ahead of KFC's mac and cheese. I was saying this yesterday. Like, some things I don't really care about saying. <clears throat> Hold on. And I say this in all the reviews I do. Um, KFC's mac and cheese is fucking disgusting, bro. It's like mac and cardboard. And I'm only telling you this because I want them to get better. Like, do better. You are... Open this bitch up. I'm finna eat the zucchini, bro. Is there, like, mad zucchini in here? Nah, there's only, like, two. That's not bad. I can do that. Let me get that, though. All right, bet. I do reviews, right? I review everything, and I'm subjective. Some people will be like, oh, he likes everything. I have said in multiple videos that KFC's mac and cheese is dog shit. Their chicken sandwich is goaded. Best chicken sandwich on the market so far. Their mac and cheese, absolute ass. Their biscuits, absolute ass. Ass! Their biscuits are like fucking bread, bro. There's nasty. And I go down the line, like, name a restaurant. I'll tell you what's good there, I'll tell you what's trash. Like, Wingstop? Nah, everything there is kind of fire. <laughs> I don't like their fries when they're not extra well done. I said it yesterday. 
And there always be hella people in the comments like, oh, you like your wings? Like, yes, I fucking do. What do you want to tell you? I like my wings fucking crispy. What do you mean? Like, is that my fault? I never said that my taste buds were like the gospel. It's what I like, right? There's dudes out there that like really, really skinny girls. And there's dudes out there like BBWs. Are you wrong for liking what you like? Nah. I don't know how you... <laughs> I'm not going there. Um, should I go there? Nah, that's for the podcast, bro. <laughs> Wing stop resto. Y'all finna get in here, look. I dipped a chip in this bitch. No, their ranch is stupid. I'm finna dip my whole sandwich in here. Bow. That fucking zucchini? That's a zucchini. I'm finna eat it anyway. I still want this ranch. Bro, Wingstop ranch is stupid good. But you get what I'm saying? Like, you can't tell me the way that I like things is right or wrong because it's just how I like it. I can't help that. It's just good. Right? Some people might like certain shit. For example, I don't really like scrambled eggs. Like, I'll eat them, but I don't like them. I like my yolk runny. A lot of people don't like runny yolk. I think that's good. Right? For example, fuck it, I'm saying it. If women, right? Some people like their girls with pancake butt. <laughs> I don't. <laughs> I, I prefer cake. Like, what do you want me to tell you? I... Is that like a black stereotype? Hell yeah. What do you want me to tell you? What, are we all wrong because we like butt cheeks? I didn't ask for this. That's what I like. I've been in this world for a long time at this point. Damn near 30 years. I've had a couple of girlfriends. I've never dated a girl with no butt. It's not an accident. I'm not saying, oh, if you don't have a butt, I won't date you. But if you don't have a butt, I won't date you. <laughs> nah, I, 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 I've, I've, nah, I don't think I ever have. Have I ever? Hmm. Right? It's the same thing, ladies. Y'all then shut the hell up, cause y'all discriminate like a mm, too, right? Y'all discriminate with height. I've seen plenty of girls be like, I've never dated a guy that's under like five ten, and you're like four eleven. That's stupid, but I can't tell you what to like. You know what I'm saying, if you don't like guys that are shorter than five ten, you don't like guys unless they're a foot taller than you. What am I supposed to say? You're wrong. I can't help that. That's what you like. You know what I'm saying? So, I like my wings. <clears throat> this fucking zucchini, bro. Get the fuck off my shit, bro. Bye -bye. Anyway. I like my wings. Extra well done. There's an option at Wingstop. I'm clearly not the only one. With like a moist inside. Zucchini pie. Look at this zucchini pie. Ah, for dust pie. No. Mm. You know? That's how I like them. Some people like the, like the soggy kind of wing. Not your boy. You know? I can't help that. That's just what it is. I gotta open these. I was gonna wait for the second. I don't even know what's in that. I should probably open that one. Yeah. Cool. 
Y'all ever had these? If you've never had the honey bar, like these are like like hella common, so. My mom would never buy Fritos growing up. Cause she said they smell like feet. And it's kind of funny because uh, yes, I'm putting it in here. That's y'all ain't fat. Yeah, if you think I'm crazy for putting my chips in my mac and cheese, y'all need to get fatter. All right, so I dropped that shit. I don't care. Oh, he dropped this food. Y'all never dropped shit before. First of all, you never eaten in front of a camera. It's fucking weird. I'm still not used to it. Um, but no, I'm so fat. What did I get? Let's see. Oh, I didn't tell you guys. If you're still watching, you know you're you're actually curious. I don't know what the hell is in here. Keep it in the box. <laughs> I dropped it. Okay, whatever. Chicken. Oh, this, oh, I know what this is. I know what this is. This is the um, the the Southern Hot Honey Chicken Sandwich. It's supposed to be like a Nashville hot jump off, right, peep? It's got like southern honey hot chicken, uh, banana peppers. I put banana peppers on everything now. Um, chicken strips and provolone. That's not bad. I should have. No, uh, uh. Wing stop ranch for you, boy. That's all. Their southern hot honey is just like like honey barbecue sauce, really. It's really sweet, but it's good. Alright, so here's what happened last Friday. I went out, me and my brother, right? Um, we ran into a bunch of people we never saw. We never saw. We haven't seen in a while, right? And B21, if you're going to do this, don't, don't drink responsibly. But what happens when you get in your late 20s and your 30s and all that shit? You know, Sam's a little older than me, but this is what happens. You run into people you haven't seen in a minute. And it becomes like a reunion. Okay, so if you're like a teenager, you don't get this yet. Um, once you get in your late 20s, you'll get it. But, you know, everybody catches up. And every time you see somebody, they got to buy you a drink or a shot or something. So, that's what happened. And before we all knew it, the filming just wasn't going to happen. Because I, I wasn't the one in charge of the Ubering. Um, so, we ended up going to the diner with a bunch of us, you know, and I kind of just wanted to be like a normal person, um, I didn't want to ruin, like, the vibe of the night when I was with my friends by being like, yo, Sam, let's go, we want to go film, and when we're just chilling, being people, you know, I'm like, yes, I'm a content creator, Yes, I do enjoy doing this, but at the same time, like, I don't ever want to lose that side of, like, whatever. Like, if I'm with my people, I don't want to be like, yo, you know, like, nah, we got to go film. You know what I'm saying? Um, so, we didn't. We ended up going to the diner. No, it was, like, four or five of us at the diner. We were there till like, six o'clock in the morning. And he ended up texting me, like, the next day in the afternoon. He was like, damn, we didn't film, huh? He wanted to do it, but... It was just kind of like how the night went, and we just didn't. Um, he asked to do it that same night, but by that point, I had actually already recorded my video. And was just ready for bed. Um, that was the video that you saw when I did, uh, like, no just de Colombia, all Colombian food. And... Just don't eat a lot of chicharrones. Because <laughs> after that, 
it wasn't even about eating. I would have did the video without food. I was just tired. Like, fatty food or sugary food makes me really tired. I don't eat a high fat diet, even though some of you might think I do, but the food I cook doesn't have a lot of fat in it and it doesn't have a lot of sugar in it. So when I eat a lot of fat or sugar, it messes me up. Not like my stomach, it just makes me sleepy. So when I got a stomach full of chicharrones, I was done. Like he texted me like, yo, we should film today. By the time I saw it, it was like midnight. Because I was knocked out. Because I ate at like 7.30. You know? But. You will be getting. I know people want to see my brother. I get it. Um, you will be getting that. And to make up for that. I made this. <laughs> That's why I'm here. Um, I wasn't partying tonight or anything like that. You know. But. I definitely had a, 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 a bit of a. I don't give a shit attitude. And when I get like this, like I don't give a shit what I'm saying. So truth of the matter is I haven't really had any adult beverages. I just don't give a shit. Like that's the truth. Um, it's a byproduct of me having anxiety. Like if anybody deals with somebody who has like mental health problems, one of the things I'll tell you, if it's not you, like you don't know what the hell they're going through. And for me, what it does to me, I can't speak on anybody besides myself, is I get in moods sometimes where I like don't want to talk to anybody. Like, I will see your text message and like I'll see it and I want to reply and I'm just like, eh, not today. It's weird, bro. Like, I, I know it's weird. And I apologize to people that I know because they probably feel like I'm not. Yes, I did. Like, I'm like not acknowledging them or ghosting them or whatever. That's really not the truth. I just get in these moods. And I don't want to talk to anybody. There's a lot of people that have mental health stuff like I do. Maybe they don't speak openly about it. But what has helped me get past it, come to terms with it, cope with it, is that I do speak about it, you know? So. Damn, this sandwich good. For better or worse, in the wings time for us too, this is what I am. And, you know, my friends understand but people that don't know me, um, not so much. And women in the past that I've talked to, I understand why they wouldn't want to deal with it. Because I just get in these moves, bro, where I'm just like, I don't want to talk to you right now. And they feel like I'm ignoring them. But, like, I'm really not. I'm ignoring everybody. It's not like you, you know. So, I kind of wanted to address that because... I said I was going to do it, and I didn't, and I felt bad. So, tonight, work ran mad late. Right now, it's really, for me, not that late. Um, it's only, like, 1 in the morning. Normally, I eat, like, 3 a.m., but I was like, yo, I'm just going to go to Wawa. My studio was, like, right next to Wawa, so. And one stop. So, I was like, yo, I'm just going to go to Wawa. We'll just do a quick chop it up, even though this video is going to be hella long. And I'll kind of go from there. But, that's where I'm at. I have every intention of doing another episode like that over the weekend, uh, on Friday. But, at the end of the day, like, I don't want to be like a sellout. And like, start doing funny stuff. Um... Meaning, I don't want to be like, oh, I just want to, like, record, or, oh, this is going to be good material, like, you know, like, stuff like that. I, I can't do that kind of stuff. It's like the same mindset as why I can't tell you that certain things are good if I don't think it's good. Um, they put too many banana peppers on here. You know. I've probably lost sponsorships because of it. I don't give a shit. <laughs> like, again, KFC, your chicken sandwich, fire. Your fried chicken, fire. Your mac and cheese is absolute ass. 
I, I, I'm not going to tell people that shit's good because it's fucking nasty. Like, what do you want me to tell you? It's, it's, it's not good. Y'all have had the same trash-ass macaroni and cheese for, like, fucking... Like, how, how old is, this, is KFC? Since the beginning, bro. It's never been good. And then, being honest, somebody in your R&D department said, hey, let's fix the fucking best thing on the menu, which is the potato wedges, and turn them into some stupid-ass fries. Why? Did you do that? Now, the political person would be like, oh, well, I preferred the wedges over their fucking nasty, bro. The fucking wedges were fire. You don't believe me? Go to my reviews tab in this page years ago. And the one thing I talked about that I liked from KFC was the goddamn potato wedges. And then I came back and they're like, nah, we got rid of them. Taco Bell got rid of Mexican pizzas. Why? Like, who the fuck is running these places, bro? Like, you literally are selling a shit ton of Big Macs or, or, or Gordito Nuevas or whatever you want to call them because you're everywhere. So everybody trusts your fucking name. So you go and you take the best thing. Oh, well, we want to make our menu run more efficiently. Shut the fuck up and put my goddamn potato, Fiesta potatoes back on my fucking menu. Why, bro? You it, 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 it's, it's that inefficient to have some goddamn potatoes with some cheese and some sour cream on them? McDonald's stop serving everything after midnight. You can get quarter pounders, uh, uh, f fucking uh, uh, McChickens, and nuggets, and fries. I used to be happy as f when I used to get, I didn't mean to edit the word fuck. I just, I don't know why I did that. I'm so used to it. But I used to be so happy when I can go to McDonald's and get a goddamn sausage McMuffin at 3 o'clock in the morning, and now I can't. And no, in the grand scale of life, it's really not that big of a deal. Um, I know that, uh, Ned, whoever, uh, fucking uh, anonymous uh, fucking uh, 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 letter who wants to troll me today. Respectfully, you can, yeah. But I'm aware that it's not that big a deal in the grand scheme of life. But in my McDonald's scheme of life, I want a goddamn sauce and McMuffin at 3 o'clock in the morning. I love the potato wedges. Why did you replace them with them soggy ass fries? You're Kentucky Fried Chicken. I don't want French fries when I go to KFC. I want goddamn potato wedges. What was I thinking? And they all do that shit. They all do it. All these places. They're like, oh, hey, we're, we're just gonna take, let's just, we wanna redo the menu. Why? Oh, we put out our new chicken. Chicken was high. Spicy one was high. No, I was high. I'm not gonna talk shit about that. But what does Burger King have? Burger King, no, they because Burger King's fries used to be absolute garbage, and now they're like okay. So I take that one back too. Who else fucked their shit up? All I know is Taco Bell, like, their top five menu items, they took four of them off the damn menu. Like, for what? I just feel like they're trying to torture me at this point. Like, give my shit back. I don't know. Yes, I'm venting about the fucking menu items. So what? So what? Yes, I am. Like, the other day I said that, uh, I don't drink my calories. Right? I meant that in the context of shit that I would have with dinner, not fucking vodka. But there was like three or four people, and it's always the negative fucking people that just like say the same dumb shit all the time. Like, I think I've said this before. When someone writes a negative comment, I see it. Sometimes I reply to it. Most of the time I don't. But. I will usually check the name because on my YouTube, if I press the button, it shows your comment history. It's always the same people that just say the same fucking stupid shit to try to get under my skin. And they're like, is yeah, somebody, oh, well, you, uh, does alcohol not count? Like, shut the fuck up. <laughs> Why do you gotta do that? Do y'all do that with 
y'all for y'all probably don't have friends, huh? And I mean y'all like the fucking specific people that like to do that dumb shit. Most of y'all are so nice, bro. Like, y'all are the dopest people for the most part. Like, I swear. But there's always like those one or two people that like, because I exist, they're just like, fuck him. <laughs> You're mad at a guy that's eating wawa on camera, bro. Like, reevaluate your shit. Like, reevaluate your shit. Under no fucking circumstance should you be mad at me, who has never said nothing directly to you. But because I exist, you're like, fuck him. <laughs> I, can't, I say that shit out loud. Oh, look at, listen to his laugh. Suck my ass, bro. <laughs> you gotta be down bad. I'm like, OnlyFans down bad. You probably subscribe to OnlyFans too, don't you? I was talking about that shit today. I'm gonna say this too and then I'm gonna dip out. First, I wanna say this. I talk about stuff like OnlyFans, right? If you don't know OnlyFans, I'm not gonna tell you. But, I am not saying this towards the people because, you know, people of every gender um, make OnlyFans premium content. I don't, I don't, I don't hate the, the, the player for making that kind of content. Like, if you're a male, uh, woman, whatever, and you want to make premium content um, for a website like that because people are willing to pay for it, like, I am not mad at you. I don't judge you. I don't think you're, like, messed up for doing it. Embrace your whatever it is that you got. Embrace that shit because people are willing to buy it. Like, there's nothing wrong with you doing that. Like, at all. But... <laughs> for the people who are buying that shit respectfully are you that down bad bro that you're paying for that because I have had the liberty in my travels okay because I've kind of a whore at times to know people who make those videos and as I like them. Like, they're nice people. They're great people. They're cool people. Again, I'm not being derogatory towards them. Because I don't judge you based off of that. That's a job. I don't care if you build condos or sell condoms. And anywhere in between. That's your job. You're doing it. You need to make a living. And if it helps you and you enjoy doing it, then so be it. There's nothing wrong with that. But do y'all notice there's just people on OnlyFans who buy like panties? Do you understand how down bad you have to be to buy someone's underwear that you don't know? Respectfully. Check yourself. <laughs> I wish I was making this up. I know someone, I hope to God they don't see this, but they won't because we don't talk no more. But I know somebody who sold their wisdom tooth for a bag. Their wisdom tooth! You understand how down bad of a man or woman, whatever, of a customer that you have to be? Buy someone's fucking tooth. I swear. I thought they were lying. They pulled the receipt. The literal receipt. Somebody paid for a tooth, bro. Like, I can only imagine. <laughs> like, <laughs> like, <laughs> pause. But what if you're like, LeBron James and you was like, if I'm finna sell my socks, somebody actually they do do that too, don't they? Damn, <laughs> somebody. Actually, if LeBron James sold the socks. Somebody buying that shit. You understand how down bad you gotta be to buy someone's draws? Respectfully, anybody watching, if you would like to buy my underwear, 
Send me a DM on Instagram. I swear to God, I'll sell them tomorrow. You're down bad. <laughs> but if you really want them, I will go do 14,000 jumping jacks. And you can buy them. All of everything. I won't even judge you. You're down bad, though. To buy some of those draws, bro. Whew. Anyway, um, it's a weekday, so I still have hella stuff to do tonight. But I had to come in here and get lit a little bit. Um, Wawa is, is goaded. And if you live near a Wawa, just buy, get the Wawa app. Make yourself a sub. Um, you can get anything on there. You can get, like, even this whole thing, the Gatorade, the chips, everything. I did right on the Wawa app. I walked in. They had it in a bag. It was already paid for. I just grabbed that shit and bounced. Like, that's lit. But that's going to be the end of the video. I hope you guys enjoyed me not giving a shit. Uh, I'll probably be back this weekend not giving a shit. And um, if I get demonetized, you can Venmo me at King Shrats. <laughs> I'm a lead of Venmo on the fucking app. I don't care. Demonetize me, bro. Y'all can't cancel me. Look. Fuck. <laughs> anyway, I'm out, man. It is what it is. I love y'all. We'll be back tomorrow in the kitchen because I've been out of the kitchen way too long. More content. Yes, you know the vibes. The hand signs. They made it to YouTube.